Hey everybody, Tyler here. Today we're going over the age-old question on how to load your dishwasher. The right way, the wrong way, the arguments that happen because of it at home. I know myself, we've had arguments with my wife. What is the best way to load that dishwasher? Today we're giving you tips, tricks, on how your dishes are gonna be cleaner than they've ever been. So I'm Tyler here at Boulevard Home. Today we're going over five tips on how to load your dishwasher. The first tip is the age-old question, do I clean all the food off my plate or not? So what you need to do is uh, scrape your food off, do not rinse, and then place it in the dishwasher. The reason we don't rinse our dishes is because the soap needs some food particles to cling to. Without the food particles, the soap will wear down the dishes and can cause cracks and wear. In addition to that, if there's no food residue, the soap may leave hazy uh, film on dishes because there's nothing to cling to and be washed off. Step number two on how to load a dishwasher is where do you place your dishes? First, we're starting with the lower rack, the bottom rack, and usually you put larger items there. You always wanna start in the back of the dishwasher first. So as you grab larger items, you start in the back. So you place them in the back, back here. If you're looking at adding dishes, you wanna start loading from outside in, and you wanna place dishes so they're facing inwards. That allows better water flow and it allows the dishwasher to clean those dishes on the bottom rack better. As you go to the top rack of the dishwasher is where you put your glasses. You don't wanna place your cups over the tines. You wanna place them next to the tines on the side. That side there is angled so that the water on top of the cups will uh, come off and not pool on top of the cups. You don't place them over the tines because during the wash cycle, they may move around and the tines may scratch the inside of your glasses and cause damage to them. Also, if you do have the nicer glasses, many times they do have in the dishwasher specific places to put your stemware and the glasses like that. What you wanna do with the bowls is make sure when you place them in the dishwasher, you place them so they do, they do not overlap one another um, and so that there's enough water flow that, that can get up and wash the entire dish. As an added bonus on where you can place your dishes inside the dishwasher, a lot of the newer dishwashers have a third rack. This is meant for the longer uh, utensils or the silverware to place up here and save room inside the rest of your dishwasher. Step number three is how do you load your utensil basket? A lot of the new baskets today come with uh, this section that the manufacturers made to allow easy sorting of your utensils where you place them in here and they're separated on their own. However, if you do not have one of these placeholders, you pull that off or you, you don't have it, what you wanna do is alternate your silverware from being face up and face down. What that does is just allow your utensils not to nest together or as many people might refer to them as spoons, sp spoony. That's what we don't want because there's not enough water and soap that gets to the utensils to get them clean. Step number four is as you're loading the dishwasher, as it's filled, you wanna make sure these wash arms, these uh, jets are not prohibited in turning. So if something's sticking down, say you have a utensil or a long spoon that's sticking down like this, it will not allow the jets to move around, which will not allow the water to be circulated. That goes on both the top shelf and the bottom shelf. And there's even one on the very top of the dishwasher as well that you just wanna make sure there's nothing in the way from allowing those jets to function as they should. Step number five is don't overload your dishwasher. This may seem obvious, but many times, like myself, I'm getting close to all the dishes cleaned off the counter. My dishwasher's full. I just wanna cram in a couple more dishes just so I don't have to wash them by hand. But if you do that, more than likely, your dishes are not gonna come out clean. They're gonna stay dirty, and then you're gonna have to wash them all over again. So step number five is don't overload that dishwasher. Two bonus tips I wanna share with you about washing your dishes. First off is if you're finding a hazy film build up on your dishes more often than you would like, maybe you're using too much dish detergent, maybe switch detergents. There's a lot of detergent that manufacturers do recommend over others. One of the most common ones is the finished dish detergent, is very common. Uh, but try out dis different detergents if your dishes are too hazy. Second, if you're finding that your dishwasher soap is not falling into your dishwasher. So if you look down here, because when you put it in here, this maybe is not being opened during the wash cycle. What can cause that is maybe a large dish pot, something that's here prohibiting it from opening, and then your dishes will not clean at all because the soap is not being released into the dishwasher. Thanks for watching today. 
Hopefully you gained some insight on how to improve the cleaning of your dishes in your dishwasher. Please subscribe to our channel. We're excited to share with you so many great tips and tricks with your appliances and other household items. Thank you so much for watching.